Why is it important to tune your sound system and can you get it done easily without any expensive equipment? In this video, I'll be sharing with you how to tune a sound system for absolute beginners. In this 5-step easy guide, it will help you get up and running in no time. Be sure to watch to the end of the video for a free resource to help you with any type of sound check. So, stick around! Hello there, I'm Rafi Dean and welcome to Art AV, your online resource on technical production. On this channel, we bring you tips, tools and training to help you get the best performance out of your gear and venue. Do remember to check out the links in the description below for more information about this video. If you are new here, consider subscribing. And now, let's get on with the video. You may be using the latest technology, the best microphones or even top-of-the-line speakers but if your overall system has not been configured properly, then you're going to run into problems with sound imaging, feedback and an overall bad experience for your audience. That is why tuning the sound system is a very important step when you're setting up for an event or for a venue. If you're mixing in a professional theatre, it's likely that you'll be using a full-fledged digital console with full parametric EQ and even the room you're in would have been treated by a trained acoustician. However, most of us will start in small gigs in small venues that have minimal acoustic treatment. You'll be given a budget console and maybe one or two graphic equalizers to tune your system. Fortunately, the tips I'm sharing in this video can follow you as you graduate from small shows to larger shows in bigger venues, as the techniques I'm sharing can be applied across the board. For this 5-step easy guide, I will show you how you can tune your sound system with no special equipment other than your smartphone. Do take note that this is just an easy guide to help you get started and is by no means the most accurate method. And now, let's get on with the guide. Step 1. Speaker Positioning Just ensure that your front of house speakers are placed in front of all the performers. All microphones should be set up behind the front of house speakers. This will help you eliminate a lot of problems, especially feedback, which is sound coming back into the microphones that are from the front of house. For floor monitors, just position them accordingly as you require on stage and ensure there are no live microphones pointed directly at them at this point in time. Step 2. Grab a microphone. In an ideal scenario, you want to use a calibrated measurement microphone. But for absolute beginners like this, you just want to use like a, any vocal microphone that you have on hand, for example an SM58. Plug the vocal mic directly into the mixer and make sure there is no EQ or effects on that microphone channel. You will need a microphone stand and a cable long enough to bring you somewhere around the middle of where the audience will be. Step 3. Download a Spectrum Analyzer app for your phone. There are many apps available on the App Store for iOS as well as the Google Play Store. Choose one that is affordable enough for you, but I would recommend just to start off with a free one that you can play around with. For Android phones and tablets, I would recommend Advanced Spectrum Analyzer Pro or Spectroid. These are free apps from the Play Store. For iOS users, I would recommend SoundMeter X or Audio Tools. These are free apps but come with some premium features if you need them that you can purchase in the in-app upgrades. Along with the Spectrum Analyzer app, you can use the built-in microphone in your smartphone to take very rough measurements. But for more accurate readings, I would recommend a calibrated mobile microphone like the Dayton Audio IMM6, which only costs about US $20 on Amazon. And now you're all set, so just launch the app and watch the meters move as it picks up the frequency response from the room. Step 4. Equalize the output If you are using an analog console, you want to make these changes on the graphic EQ that is connected to the master output of your console. If you are using a digital mixer, then you can make these adjustments on the parametric EQ of the main left-right output of your console. Now place the microphone stand near the audience area and point it directly to the front of house speakers. Then you want to turn up the gain on this microphone and start inching it up until you hear a little bit of feedback. You don't need to talk into the microphone at this point in time. What we want to pick up is the general sound of the room. We call this the resonant frequencies. And what we're aiming to do is to pick out where the trouble frequencies are and cut that out using the EQ. 
Next, just have a look at the Spectrum Analyzer app on your phone and watch for the trouble frequencies from this feedback. As the feedback rings, you should be able to see spikes that are happening within the frequency curves on the Spectrum Analyzer. So what we are aiming to do here is basically to identify where the trouble frequencies are that are resonating in the room and remove as many of them as possible using the EQ that we have on the master output. Of course, you don't want to remove too much so that it destroys the natural tone of the speakers. So as you look at this screen grab, you can see a spike at about 1900 Hz or 1.9K. So for example, if this is the kind of spike that you see, then you want to locate the frequency closest to 1.9K on your graphic equalizer and cut that out, uh, starting by a little by a little until there is no more feedback ringing. If you're using a parametric EQ, you can be a lot more accurate to get right to the frequency and even adjust the curve uh, for the Q uh, and the bandwidth and how much gain you want to cut out from that. You can actually do most of these measurements with the microphone placed in the middle of the room. But if you want to, you could move the mic around to take a little bit of different measurements from different parts of the room. But since we are doing just a very basic uh, tuning here, you don't really need to take very accurate measurements. What we intend to do is just to get rid of the trouble frequencies that are a problem within the room. So just getting measurements from the center of the room would be sufficient for now. And when you're done EQing the front of house speakers, you can repeat the process on the monitor speakers by bringing the microphone onto the stage and just pointing them roughly towards the monitor speakers. And then you repeat the process, uh, watch out for the spikes on the spectrum analyzer and EQ accordingly for your monitor outputs. Ideally, you wouldn't want to be cutting too many frequencies, otherwise you'll just destroy the sound of the room itself. And you want to make sure that you have uh, just very tight cuts in the parametric EQs. You don't want to make like big low swoops because that would take out too much sound uh, from, from the overall system. If you've done your EQ correctly, you could actually talk into that vocal microphone at a very loud gain level and not get any feedback in the system. That way you know that you have a good baseline and the system is properly tuned for you to start your sound check. Step 5, the system sound check. Here's where you play your favorite sound check music and listen up for some abnormalities in the system. So make sure that you are having a clean signal and there are no boomy or tinny sounds coming from your speakers. So if you have tuned it properly, here's where you can make some minor adjustments to taste. So use your ears to make sure that the system sounds good to you. And once everything is done and nice, you're ready to sound check the band and performance. Talking about sound checks, the EQ is the most time consuming and tricky part of it. Using the right words to describe the sound can help you get your sound check going in a much smoother fashion. So to help you get your sound checks done more smoothly, I'm giving away a free EQ guide. Check the link in the description below for your free download. Question of the day. What is your favorite tip when it comes to tuning a sound system? Let me know in the comment section below and we'd love to know what you are working on. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let us know what other topics you would like us to cover in the comment section below. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at ArtAV Production. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips, tools and training with ArtAV. And we'll see you in the next video.